So yesterday, Pete Buttigieg dropped out, and today, Amy Klobuchar is dropping out. Now, this is actually shocking. I said this about Pete Buttigieg yesterday, but the idea in my mind, at least, you know, when you think about this strategically, was that by him dropping out, this would push everyone else above that 15% viability threshold. And with Amy Klobuchar at least staying in the race until after Super Tuesday, then she would be able to keep Bernie Sanders from winning Minnesota. But that has not happened. She announced that she's dropping out and she will be endorsing Joe Biden, presumably later today, if not already by the time that you see this video. So understand what's happening. Everyone is coalescing around Joe Biden. The establishment has made it very clear that that's the person that they're going with because they can't risk it. So what does this mean for the remaining candidates in the race? Well, it means that perhaps Joe Biden's vote totals increases now because certainly I can't imagine that many Amy Klobuchar supporters will go to Bernie Sanders. But what we have now is a significant portion of the left splitting votes between Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. But Mike Bloomberg is still likely siphoning more votes away from Joe Biden than anyone else. Now, it doesn't seem as if he's likely to drop out before Super Tuesday, maybe not even after Super Tuesday, because he's currently purchasing superdelegates. He's hiring them to work for his campaign in an effort to steal the nomination away from Bernie Sanders, because Politico reported just last week that his entire strategy is to have a brokered convention to take the nomination away from Bernie Sanders. So it doesn't seem likely that Bloomberg will exit the race anytime soon, but um, with the rate that things are changing and shifting rapidly, I wouldn't be surprised if that does happen. But so long as Elizabeth Warren remains in this race, then strategically for progressives, it is better to have Mike Bloomberg there so that way they both take away about the same percentage from the respective frontrunner on their lane. So Bloomberg takes votes away from Biden. Without him, they'd likely go to Biden. Um, and then Elizabeth Warren is taking votes away from Bernie Sanders. Without her in this race, they would likely go to Bernie Sanders. So this is very quickly um, becoming a two-person race between Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. And what this tells you is that the individuals who are remaining in this race don't actually care about policies, be it progressivism or centrism. They're running because of their egos. Elizabeth Warren at this point, with no clear path to the nomination, She's really showing her cards, and I'm going to have a separate video. I talked about this in my Pete Buttigieg dropout video about Elizabeth Warren and what her path towards the nomination is, which there's none, but what her goal is currently. But by her staying in the race now with the moderates all coalescing around Joe Biden, it tells you she's not serious about progressive policies. And Mike Bloomberg, he was supposed to be the savior, for lack of a better word, because Joe Biden was performing very poorly um, and was not uh, projected to win very many early states. But now, with the race kind of changing, with him having a huge victory in South Carolina, Mike Bloomberg is also proving, like Elizabeth Warren, that to him it's not necessarily about, you know, uh, centrism and stopping Bernie Sanders. It's about his ego. So what we have now are... Uh, Elizabeth Warren and Mike Bloomberg, two very large presences, capturing a fairly large percentage of uh, of vote totals in states on Super Tuesday, keeping it from really becoming the two-person race that it seems like it will ultimately be reduced down to. But uh, Amy Klobuchar will be endorsing Joe Biden. Pete Buttigieg now will be endorsing Joe Biden. I have a separate video for that because there's a little bit more details that I think you'll find interesting. But that's where we're at. Amy Klobuchar dropped out. Pete Buttigieg dropped out. And not to mention, Tom Steyer dropped out the day of the South Carolina primary. Actually, right after I posted my video, um, he dropped out. So I didn't get to cover it. But he's not necessarily much of a threat in any other state. South Carolina was really his only shot to perform. And he came in third, so I think it makes sense for him to drop out. So this is very quickly becoming a Bernie versus Biden race. How quickly it really becomes a Bernie versus Biden race depends on Mike Bloomberg and Elizabeth Warren currently. But more on that later. For now, Klobuchar is backing Biden, probably because she wants to be his VP. And I don't know that that is going to happen. I think that he would probably promised her something, some type of sway or leverage, but just on Sunday, she had Black Lives Matter protesters rightfully shut down one of her rallies because of her acts as a prosecutor at jailing an innocent black man. So it wouldn't be 
something that Biden should consider if he's serious about maintaining the black vote. Now with Bernie Sanders coming up on his heels and winning over voters in all uh, categories of generations and all demographics. So, you know, I don't know what she was promised, but clearly, you know, you, you've got to give her a little bit of, bit of respect for put, putting her own ego aside and trying to do what she thinks is best. Now, I disagree with her unequivocally on basically everything. She's a centrist ghoul who doesn't want to give voters anything. Still, she is putting her ego aside and suspending her campaign to promote someone who she knows has a better chance of winning than her. And, you know, in a way, you have to respect it because when you see what Elizabeth Warren is doing, someone who everyone thought was more principled than that, you know, it's just a matter of when are you going to do what Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar is doing, albeit for Bernie Sanders, right? And we're getting indications that she's not going to do that anytime soon. Um, but, you know, for now, Klobuchar's out, and um, that's where we're at.